Hello dear students, welcome to Exiomatic course. This video is the part of the solution series for CSIR net June 2019 and we are doing this problem 92 of your paper. So it's a problem from ordinary differential equation. Let us have a look. Consider the equation. So we have this equation, second order equation. It is a homogeneous equation also. Let phi 1x and phi 2x be the basis for the solution satisfying phi 1 of 0 is equal to 1, phi 1 dash of 0 is equal to 0, phi 2 of 0 is equal to 0 and phi 2 dash of 0 is equal to 1. Let w of phi 1 of phi 2, it denotes the Ronskian of phi 1 and phi 2 then. So you have these options in your hand and the first two options talks about the Ronskian of the given function. Uh, given to uh, function phi 1 and phi 2. All right. So now let us begin by just introducing Ronsky n. So now let us see this important note. What it tells us that if you have a second order, all right, second order differential equation, it's a homogeneous differential equation. Then the Ronsky n, all right, Ronsky n is given by this. It has two forms. The first one is this. And the second one is this. All right. What are what are phi one and phi two? Phi one and phi two are two uh, solutions of this differential equations. All right. Phi one and phi two are solutions of the differential equation. Then we actually have two values for the Ronskin. All right. Two formulas to find out Ronskin. Now, according to the first formula, what should be the Ronskin? Now see in your problem, if we compare it with the standard equation that we have written for you, if we compare it, what is Px? Px in this equation is 0. So it will be 0 dx. All right. So what we will get then? We will get c e to the power 0 will be what? 1. So Ronskian according to us should be c. But according to this formula, what we will be the Ronskian? All right, C is a constant number. We don't know what it is. And using this formula, we are going to actually find out your C. You know that your function, not function actually, your solution phi1 and phi2 are defined at 0. All right, that means we can actually find out your Ronskian at 0. So Ronskian, the value of Ronskian at 0, is determinant phi 1 at 0 what is phi 1 at 0 it is 1 what is phi 2 at 0 it is 0 what is phi 2 dash at 0 it is 1 and what is phi 2 of 0 phi 1 dash of 0 it is 0 so from here if you will calculate your determinant will be 1 so now see this is a, this is not actually the value it's a function all right Ronskin is a function so at 0, your Ronskin is taking value 1. So what should be your function? Because it is a constant function, so it will be 1 overall. So finally, what we are getting is that W, the Ronskian of phi 1 and phi 2 for every x will be 1. It means that first is true and third is, uh, sorry, second is false. This is what we can conclude. Now we have these third and fourth option which are different from this one. So now let us erase this one to solve them. Now see in the third option what your problem is telling us is this that phi 1 of t plus phi 2 dash of t is equal to 2 and what is t? t is the given period. So let us read this thing. If the given differential equation has a non-trivial periodic solution with period t. So they are saying that your the given differential equation has a periodic solution. What is the definition for a periodic uh, function is this that the function f will be called a periodic function with period t if f of x plus t is equal to fx. Are you getting my point? So this is the definition for a function to have a period t. Now in your problem, your problem is saying that your your solution has period t that means phi 1 and phi 2 both has period t all right now if phi 1 has period t then what will happen this thing will happen 
phi 1 of x plus t will be phi 1 of x for all x right from your domain now the same thing will work for phi 2 also phi 2 of x plus t will be phi 2x for all x all right now see if you differentiate this thing if you differentiate this thing what you will get you will get phi 2 dash of x plus t now you have to differentiate this all right what it's like this statement cos of x plus 2 so what will be the differentiation differentiation will be sine of x plus 2 minus will be there but you will get this so phi 2 dash of x plus t you will get which is also equal to phi 2 dash of x that means if your function phi 2 is periodic it implies that its derivative will also be periodic all right this is the definition for the periodicity of with period t so phi 2 dash is also periodic now see use this thing as your equation a and use this thing as your equation b now substitute x is equal to 0 it is happening for every x it is happening for every x so substitute x is equal to 0 what you will get phi 1 of t is equal to phi 1 of 0 so what is phi 1 of 0 it is 1 what is phi 2 dash of t all right when you will substitute 0 you will get phi 2 dash of 0 and what is phi 2 dash of 0 it is 1 so this implies phi 1 of t plus phi 2 dash of t is equal to 2 now because you are getting 2 as your answer it means that fourth one is incorrect and third one is correct so fourth one is incorrect so this is how you can actually solve this problem if you have any doubt regarding this problem you can always ask in the comment section and if you have any other doubt you can join our whatsapp and telegram groups links are given in the description part of the video all right so thank you